What's going on? Alpha Wolf here, and if you're new to the channel, welcome to the end. Today we're going to be checking out a game called Once Human. So me and Wolf Girl played the beta to this, and we're a little late to get into it because we were waiting for controller support. Which if you guys saw the beta preview on the channel, you'll know how much I struggled. So, now we have the game, and we have controller support. So, we got Wolf Girl the waifu. Hey yo! And we got our boy Johnny gonna be joining us. Yes, sir. So, uh, do you want to maybe suggest some other games for us to check out and play? Or you just want to hang out and stop by? Make sure you guys come join the Discord. Links in the description and now. Curl up inside the den, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Alright, so we're gonna select a world. A server. We all gotta pick the same server, though. So. Uh, like I said, we're a little late to the season, but, um, do you guys, uh, go down to, like, the mana bus ones? Mana bus, okay. Yep, and then, can you guys see, go to the, like, page two, can you see a PVE X0003? Yes. Jenny? Uh, 003? Yeah, on page two on the Manabus server list. Manabus. Oh, the other one. Zero, zero. Why is the. I feel zero, zero, 003. Uh, go to page two. There should not be 1x003. Zero, 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 oh, go to page two. Okay. Yep, got it. All right, yeah, everybody join that one then. Hit confirm. Difficulty. You will need to create a new character and the season scenario may be challenging if you start from scratch. For a smooth start, the novice season is recommended. Hmm. Now nah, we'll be editing. This season is from this time. A season on the server has entered a later phase. Still enter the server? Hmm. Hang on, no, uh, you, did you guys enter in now? No, I'm well, I mean the exact same page like you. Okay, that says day 24, so I'm not gonna join them next up. That one says day 21. That says day 21. Say maybe that one. Day two. Well, okay, go back to page one, and there's an X0035. Yes, got that one. Three five? Yep. Day two. Yep. Yeah, let's do that one. Yep. All right, and then enter game. Terms of use. Yep, yeah, I agree. Our lives have followed a long path. But eventually, all roads reach their end. Our world is broken, stagnant, Fallen into the abyss. But everything is born from darkness. Even the universe itself. Now, do you see it? A glimmer within the void. The spark of life still burns, and evolution forges a new way forward. Yeah, I remember this cutscene from Once the beta. Your faith overcomes despair. 
once you beyond death. Once life returns to this world. We'll meet beyond that path. All right, now we got to make characters. So you guys know the deal. I'm gonna take a few minutes to uh, do this, make my guy the way I want, and I'm gonna bring you guys back when I'm ready. Point seventy. All right, and we're back. Celsius. Physical movement or brain function not detected. Subject status stable. Dagger still stuck in the sheath. Inspection four eight one complete. <sighs> Requesting a higher power outlay for the isolation chamber to prevent any further outages. What's that? Oh boy. Secure me, breach. Secure me, breach. Oh, that boy got crunched. Oh, that's not supposed to be there. Oh yeah, let's uh, let's remove that. Yoink! Take the activating. Give her a little shank. Ooh, all better. Alright. Just the direction the camera is facing with the right stick. We can do that. The move emergency med kit. Let me grab that. Ooh, claim all that. Can lunch mean boil water. It won't last long if you never ignore your stamina, sanity, and hydration, energy, and HP. Consume food and drink to increase your energy and hydration. It's a good idea to keep some in your hot bar. Open the backpack to check recently obtained food. Okay. Ooh. Got yeah, cosmetics and all kinds of stuff. The locks to an eve of evolution. Why are you so fast to pop things up on the screen, bruh? I'm a pretty quick reader, but man. Okay, we got a deviation file. No, subject A73 is an adult human. Ethnicity blank. Gender blank. Identity I'm unknown. Subject's body has been in a state of stasis ever since being recovered from blank. Following blank. It's all redacted stuff. The cause for reappearance is still unknown. Subject has been impaled by an object made of an unknown material with likely origins in rift space. Subject has been placed in an isolation compartment as per safety protocols. Huh. They're talking about me. All bones are broken, no signs of blood. Yeah, that boy went crunch. Butterflies going over there. I'm trying to check some stuff out. Ooh, you can actually go inside here. 
a little bit of stuttering. I'm going to adjust the settings. A 73 memo. Investigate. Access code for chrono cage experiment area must be changed daily. Today's code for D23 experiment day is 0728. The code has been updated and confirmed by the supervisor. Gene the third. Blah, blah, blah. Update the code after completing today's experiment plan. Be informed. Tasks are currently located and displayed in the top left corner of the screen. Okay, and another code, but first, let me change some settings. I have to use LB to interact with things. As dumb as that's going to be, I guess. Because screw having good controls. At least we have controller support, I guess. Thankful for that. This is still so damn choppy. Alright, I'm at the... Where are my graphics then? I can't though, because it's gonna make me damn restart the game. First time you switch graphics quality, shader loading will take a while. One to five minutes afterwards, you can switch freely. Save my Because <laughs> if me. Remember me. Enter game. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, big. All right, let's put in the password. Zero seven two eight. Ooh, there's shite everywhere. What up, dude? Sanity Gummy? Security level top secret. An intact cradle was covered near Subject 73. The design and manufacture consistent with those used by the Mayflies. Energy stored within the cradle shows unusual signs of activity and seems to become more volatile when near Subject 73. Cradle has been placed in a separate room for safekeeping until more research can be conducted. Uh, access card into the research. And obtain the cradle. Gimme. Give me some stranger things, vibes. First we were there, and now we are here. Burb. Hello, Burb. Talk to the strange Burb. Well, it's good to see another face. I thought I was on my own. And you're a metahuman, too. You know who I am? Or what did you just call me? A metahuman? Yeah, do you know who I am? I don't know who you are. But I know what you are. You awakened the cradle. And that's something only a metahuman could do. You've lost your memory. Do you remember who you are? No, I don't remember. It must have been that fluctuation just now. It trapped me in the cradle. It could have robbed you of your memories. You can call me V. It seems that our interests are aligned, metahuman. Why did you come here? But you're a talking bird. Where are we? This place seems kind of dangerous. Yeah, why'd you come here? I came to secure a deviation. A paper butterfly. But I think something must have scared it. Right now, though, we need to move. I can show you the way out of this place, but only if you help me complete my mission first. Alright, all you have to do is listen to what I tell you. 
Okay. Anything in here before we uh, head through the little portal? I guess that. Zoop, zoop. Give me this stuff. Weapon crate. Yoink. Flame all. I have a machete. The weapon you currently have equipped is shown here. If this slot is empty, it means that. Eh, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Attack is. Richard? And left trigger is heavy melee. Oh, yeah. That'll be. Uh, left pump or right bumper once the danger is passed to holster my weapon. Yeah, we ain't doing that because the danger is not passed. Left side displays on screen controls. Access anytime during this voice can be turned off in the settings menu. Old A2 Crouch. Yes, sir. You're gonna get shanky shank? Left. Oh, yeah! Stardust. It's called a deviant. Our world has been overrun with deviants ever since Starfall. Ordinary humans can't take high levels of Stardust exposure. When they do, they end up just like that thing. But you're a metahuman. You should be fine. In fact, if the conditions are right, you might even be able to use Stardust to your advantage. I'm gonna murder you. Yoink! Sneaky sneak. And talk about backache. He was a gnar. And he had flatbread. Hey, do I want a flatbread from something called a gnar? No, he's been gnawing on Molotov cocktail? Ooh, don't mind if I do. I hope Johnny don't get a couple of those. Murder sauce, you if able. Yoink! You got. Yeah! Ooh, an activator. I will take that. There's like the little health boost of things. Okay, now I'm gonna grab a gear crate. I'm gonna claim all of that. Okay, you have explored the monolith interior and find the exit. Optional, press up to use space time to search for items in the monolith. Oh, uh, yeah. Look at doing a snap. Oh, yeah. Snap too. Anything else? We get. It gets dark and I try using the built in flashlight from the function wheel. I wonder why. A less light. How do I? Okay, here we go. Okay, apparently some issues with the flashlight. Why are you not letting me select my damn flashlight? Okay, I'm definitely holding down and to the right. But it doesn't, like, it'll do cradle vehicle, but it don't let you do your damn flashlight. Why? Why is that even a thing? It literally, like, doesn't. It just skips over or something. What the hell, bro? Man, this game is kind of janky right now. Oh, I want to see what's up. Anyone? See, it wants me to come like right here for some reason. For what? Maybe I have to put this away? No. I think he's just telling me to go that way. Ooh. Notes can be found scattered all over this world. Read them to learn more about the past. Read notes will be stored in the red notes will be stored in the field guide. Right. 
Security level top secret, file number three. No, this is a priority alpha research operation. Any findings related to it or a project butterfly must be directly reported to blank. This operation has been designated top secret. Any personnel who violate its confidentiality will be subject to intermination. Oh, I'm hungry. I need to eat food. Let's probably do that. Back, back. Now, yeah, what's this thing, dude? Food, energy. Yeah, let's use it. Yummy. Then, boiled water. Yeah, we need some water. Get us another one. Yeah, maybe eat some more food. Uh, for 1800 seconds. The purple did well, I'll waste it. Now nah, wait, so I'll wait till I get a little bit more hungry. We have gear. Oh yeah, let's uh let's throw that stuff on. Uh B's presentation. Upstate. Pick up Pedia? SV survival? What the hell is all this? Oh, you guys probably can't see the uh, OBS and I'm picking this up. That's like a little thing that pops up. It's kind of neat. Alright, so. Is that what I have on currently? How do I change things? Just click it. Okay, so that's already on my head, I think, right? Yeah, I don't agree. Alright, so I have all this stuff, apparently. I got whatever that is. I'm just gonna click them all, that way they're all off. No more notifications. Alright, we got blueprints, cosmetics, that all, that's all locked, so... Go this way! Actually, I think... Yeah, it was this one. Yeah, yeah, give me this chest. Man, if I do. Whoa. Something over there. Okay. Yeah. Whoop. This boy see me? No? Oh yeah he did. Oh yeah he did. Get wrecked. Now I can get this damn chance. Oh, yeah, all it's auto equipping the things that I've been finding. Good enough. Med kit. Grab all that stuff. Deviation observation report. Okay, your turn report. Deviation of unknown level detected in the research area. Deviation appears to consist of multiple floating butterflies. Isolation compartments may be compromised. Requesting emergency measures. Another, okay, another med kit thing. Take all that. Alright, after rimage. Touch. I mean, I personally want to touch the little after image, but. Spatial theater. Spatial fluctuations. Why is my dude still walking? Often cause anomalies in time and line pass seems to be witnessed once again. Activate space time to locate the theaters. Yeah, yeah we, we we did all this in the data. DBT-011? Yeah. My name is Victor Hammett. What's your name? I don't know. All I know is that I'm a monster. My mother 
He's a monster. My father and everyone else, they're gone. And it was all my fault. Hey, hey. Try and stay calm. I'm here. And I will do everything to help. It's no use. No one can help me. It would be better for everyone if I just... Just leave me alone. Please. Don't waste your time on me. I'm afraid I can't do that. And you're not a monster. In fact, you're very, very special. You just need to learn how to control your power. Once you do that, you can help fix this broken world. We can do that together. My butterfly, it's flying. Yes, your first deviation. And look how gentle it is. I remember my name now. It's Mitsuko. It Mitsuko. Means child of light. It's my first creation. I will create more. Yeah, it looks like you created a hell of a lot. We need something powerful to challenge the evolutionists. And I think I finally found it. You. Hey, we can secure other deviations. We can use them to forge a new path and bring about true evolution. This will be the Mayfly's mission. This is why we'll fight. Mayflies? That's right. Mayflies. Small, yet invincible. Humanity may seem puny now, but we'll prove we can endure. Yeah. It's facts. Okay, that was the way we were supposed to go. I remember. I thought this was the way we go, but nope, I'm glad to came down here because there's a chest. Take all that. More water and some more food. The om nom noms. Oh. This creepy dude. You don't see me. You see me. Anima Deviants will drop animal weapons when defeated. Use Teleconnect in hand to handle these weapons or normally an attack. Yeah. Yeah, I remember this thing from the beta. This thing is awesome. Oh, but I want to... Uh, let's check it at this guy. I gotta open the box first. I might grab it. I'm thirsty. You can wait a little bit longer for you to get... Yeah, we want to do this first. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, get absolutely wrecked. <laughs> the creation. We found it. Reach out your left hand and see if you can feel the rhythm of it. Then try and secure it. Only a 20% chance. Got it. She's neat. You got like an infinity butterfly wings. Enter the house up ahead and check for occupants. And there she is. Talk to the young girl in the house. Don't mind if I do. What's up, Masuko? 
made it back. You're still alive. Yes, and look what I found. A meta. Only just woken up. They were kind enough to activate the cradle and set me free. Thank you, meta human. Your help means a lot to me. You can call me Mitsuko. I used to be a meta human as well. Rosetta did all kinds of experiments on me. That is, until V saved me. Mitsuko is a very special meta. She can sense even the tiniest fluctuations in the Stardust. It's thanks to her that I was able to take refuge in this place after Starfall. You're safe here. So this paper butterfly is a deviation you were looking for? So we all used to be Rosetta's test subjects? Or what's the Starfall you mentioned earlier? Yeah, what is this? Oop. The wrong thing. That's what Rosetta does. At first, they just locked deviations away. But then they figured out that deviations could be harnessed to make humans stronger. That's when they commenced their experiments. In the name of human progress. As a result, they created metahumans, like me and you, to Rosetta. We are the future. It is our potential to harness stardust that they value above everything else. It's all they care about. And they're not wrong. Metahumans are mankind's last hope. We were created by Rosetta, but we don't take orders from them anymore. We left. We call ourselves the Mayflies now, and we do things differently. So, what's the starfall you mentioned earlier? About 20 years ago, Rosetta triggered a major stardust fluctuation during one of their experiments. As a result, some great ones slipped through, entering into our world. They brought increased levels of stardust with them. That poison has seeped into every corner of our world now, spawning countless deviants and other dangers. So this paper butterfly is a deviation you would... Yes. The butterfly is an emissary of sorts. I wanted it to help rescue other metas. The recent fluctuation must have startled it. The important thing right now is to secure it and ensure its safety. See that thing in the center of the room? It's a device for securing deviations. This makes them more useful and safer to be around. Place the butterfly emissary in the securement unit. The butterfly is recovered. I think it likes you. Learn more about deviation from Let's see. You're trying to hit the damn X button because that's what it should be. Deviations can be very dangerous if not taken care of. They can radiate stardust which can lead to all kinds of unpredictable consequences. And this is why we created the Mayflies. We make cradles and securement units to keep deviations contained. We're finding ways for humans and deviations to live in harmony. This is our best chance of cleaning up Rosetta's mess. So, what exactly are deviations anyway? Or the Mayfly is not a very flattering name. It's not. It's a name that embodies who we are. We resist Rosetta's evolution. Mayflies as a species can survive almost anything, even Starfall and Rosetta. So what exactly are the deviations anyway? No one's exactly sure what they are, just that they're not bound by the physical laws of our world. They came from another dimension, something we call rift space. When deviations get stressed, they release stardust. We think this brings our world and rift space closer together. Sometimes, it becomes possible to pass between the two planes of existence. And when that happens, all hell breaks loose. We believe that's what caused Starfall. What exactly are you trying to do? Some deviations are friendly, like the butterfly. But others, like the ones inside monoliths, are extremely dangerous. It's not practical to secure all of them. But if we can learn more about them, maybe we can find ways to live alongside them. That's the goal. You must be prepared. The stardust just keeps spreading. And we aren't sure why. Be careful. That must be a siren. Shit, it must have gotten through. Come on, Meta. 
A deviation from another world just entered this space, and it won't go down without a fight. Take the butterfly with you. It can help. It's a black ring. All of that. Grab this. Weapon crate. Oh, yeah. And grab my butterfly. Okay, so we got your current deviation face of statue displayed in the top left hand corner. And I won't you ever let me read stuff. So we got deviant power. Uh, Deviant power exceeds a dormancy threshold and deviation is activated. When deviant power falls to zero, the deviation becomes dormant. We got its mood. Deviation crafting and gathering speed and combat performance depends on its mood. Alright, so here's a skill rating, activity rating. Skill rating is higher the rating, more efficiently, it works in better flights. The faster it recovers deviant power and mood while Dormant deviation traits, some more traits, some more deviation special abilities it could possess. That looks like it's combat type ability details. Designated target, designated target to attack with a butterfly's emissary. Targets in the direction you are facing will be prioritized. There are no targets in the direction you're facing, surrounding enemies will be targeted. And it has auto attack. How to activate sync the deviation of the crowd on engage in, in combat once fully power. Securement environment, faster recovery, deviant power and mood, and optimized environment. Green light, use green light. Gains a 10% increase during dormancy for power and mood recovery. And flowers. Uh, mood recovery. Oh, okay, okay. So, let me synchronization. Uh, ability synchronization. Combat V. Deviation to a special type of deviation that, while aggressive, will take instructions from metahumans when secure. Different combat deviations have different abilities. Make sure to choose a combat deviation whose abilities will suit your needs for giving tests. Controlled deviations. Dormancy thresholds of a combat type deviation is set to 100 by default and cannot be adjusted. Combat type can only be synchronized when their deviant power is fully covered. To synchronize, the deviation to your cradle, press the synchronize button on the secure screen or interact with a securement unit containing combat type and select synchronize. This allows you to carry it and use it at your will. Abilities and handling. After syncing, you can summon it to attack or recover it to cradle using the function wheel. Okay, duck. Withdraw. Yeah, we want that one. Yeah, reboot of blue. Got more stuff over here. Okay. Here we do. What's this? More of that stuff. On the body. We got a diary. We're gonna investigate it. Let's see. Victor Hammery, Hammett's Diary 2. Our use of guerrilla tactics has delivered significant military success so far. But I'm afraid it's not enough. Rosetta is clearly planning something big. If the Mayflies limit ourselves to strikes on minor targets, we'll never be able to stop them. Diary number three. Received a disturbing report that Rosetta is developing some kind of secret new Silver Gate technology. Apparently, reopening the monoliths on the island and activating the Silver Gates wasn't enough for them. If true, this could pro prove catastrophic. They really learned nothing from Star Wars. Apparently not. That thing. We do a flap. We do a flap. Dude, I do the flap. Uh, oh, we got like a uh, loop or something. We need to uh, check this stuff out. Here. Yeah, the armor slot shows the armor you currently have equipped. Click to switch them out. Okay. Yeah, click to view your new gear and equip it to the armor slot. Okay, so it just automatically compares them. 
So our Psi Intensity will go up 6. XHP, Pollution Resist. Alright, all good stuff. Let's do that. Equip. Looks like it's part of a set too, so we've got a set bonuses. A rustic set. Right now we have four pieces, so we're getting movement speed, melee damage, HP, and gathering speed. Alright, so looking pretty good. Okay, now we got to use the pickaxe to gather logs. The hell do we even get a pickaxe on? Oop. Oh, it's gonna tell me. Equip a gathering tool before you start collecting resources much faster than doing it barehanded. You can craft gathering tools that you can't say as my guy just runs off the screen apparently. <laughs> He's got places to be. Uh Tools at the campsite are supplies workbench. The more advanced the tool, the more quickly you'll be able to harvest resources. Good to know. I love him, the dude just decides he wants to go for a walkie. Yeah, he's gonna fall bunion this tree down real fast. Yeah, there's lady. Now we need the pickaxe to get it. Gravel. Ooh, there's some rocks. Do you give gravel? You do give gravel. Pay attention to hydration. Lack of water reduces movement speed. Drink boiled water to restore hydration. This is not collect water. It's Probably gonna be dirty or yucky water. Yep, dirty water. I need more rock. There's a rock. Ooh, copper ore. And gravel. Alright, find a suitable location or press left bumper and Y to set up a camp. So that's how we rotate, we can adjust the height. Oh, you can make her like really tall, or really low to the ground. Make it tall. Adjust the alignment. Okay. Enable grid snap. Okay. Disable grid snap. I just leave it like that. Good enough for me. Craft with bare hands at a campsite to craft basic gear, tools, and dishes. These will help you survive better in the wilderness. Craft with bare hands. Select the weapon crafting tab and craft a rustic crossbow. Okay. So we just need logs, which we have. Hold X to confirm. Consume the materials and craft it. Ah. Okay, equip as my primary weapon. Put the gear backpack and do something or another. Uh, 
Alright, cool. Range weapon. Cool. Click to qu quick switch. What? There's so much going on, and he just, they do it so fast that you don't have time to read nothing. It kind of drives me nuts. I uh, make water. Oh, yeah. More water. Yeah. Uh, food. All right. That's dirty water. Crack down attacking deviants. Okay. I'll we'll trigger to aim. Oh, that goes like in the first person. Or you can. Okay, so that's over the shoulder. I can tap it to aim. Yeah, good enough. Extra reload. Melee attacks. Alright, and then switch camera. Okay, so it's, so it's gonna like switch the shoulder. That's how you ping stuff. Good enough. I need to go way this way. Sure. Uh, fight. Oh, what the hell? I gotta fight this guy? I did way more stuff in the beta before we had to fight this guy. I get him. He's mahoosive. A big old massive guy. Like the whole vibe and colors of this can definitely 100% make me think of Stranger Things. Summon the butterfly. Now you'll see for yourself what it's capable of. Do what? Cradle. Okay, what? Okay. I'm not understanding something. Some of the damn butterfly there. I don't understand that. Freedom. No, stop that. Freedom. No. Nope. I don't know. We're just gonna deal with this guy. Not very intuitive. Maybe we should click. Of the novice world, but seeing as we did the beta a long a while ago, month, many months ago, 
I don't remember, and we didn't have controller support, so I don't really remember how to do the damn curve. Hey, you. Festering Jim. Hey, little thing. Got one. Oh no, he escaped, he said. No. Why did you do that? You hold up on the deep hit? No. Has to be left bumper. Did I not have the butterfly in here? I have no idea. X for deviations. Cannot use in the current state. Is it not in here? What is going on here? I don't even see the damn. Here's a first tire. And for some trial and error, I've managed finally managed to add a working containment function to the cradle. It should prove quite useful. We'll have to make use of as many deviations as we can if we want to beat with we'll set up. The stove and cook stuff. Okay, but what I want to know is how the hell do you use the damn deviation? Explorer's guide. Tell me how to do this. Where is it? Um, I'm bad at things. Override. That is not how I do that. I'm bad deviations. You can match the cradle anytime, except on the environment. Just lay down. Left bumper to bring up deviation will choose a skill, and your deviation will assist you. I just tap it. No, I have to hold it. But there's some extra deviation. Can I use in current state? Do I not have the damn butterfly? Like I don't understand what is going on. Use facility, right here. Oh, now it's in there. Really synchronization. Wait, now I have it? Now I have it. Now I have it. What the hell? <laughs> okay, okay. So, really synchronization. There we go. Now we have the DM thing. Yeah, apparently we didn't have it, even though it wasn't right there, though, because it wasn't even in there. Okay. But yeah, but. What Eva? We done here. Inform Mitsuko of the deviations escape. Damn, it escaped. That was a difficult fight. Just driving it away was enough. And it's all thanks to you, Meta, for saving us. You're tougher than you look. That's twice now you saved me. Thing was huge. How did it get in here? Like I said, we think deviations are sometimes capable of passing between the physical world and rift space. Could be wreaking havoc in the physical world right now, even as we speak. Where'd it go? The physical world? Yes. Mitsuko created this rift space, a refuge from the dangers of the physical world. Or so we thought. Do you think that deviation will come back? What if it returns with greater disruptions? It's possible. We can't just sit here and wait, though. Meta, will you go back to the physical world with me? Are you coming to Mitsuku? There is. It seems no alternative, and I would like to see what this world has become. Sounds like we have no choice but to go after that thing. Let's go. You coming? Are you coming? Mitsuko is too important. The Great Ones would descend on her the second she set foot in the physical world. We encountered some trouble earlier, and that's why Mitsuko is hiding here. Okay, what about this one? Not good, to be honest. Since Starfall, it's been 20 years of chaos. But you've got a cradle, and I'll be there to help guide you. Together we'll be fine. 
Alright, sounds like no tools. Take the butterfly with you. Put it in your cradle. That way, I can lend you some of my strength. Hopefully, we'll meet again one day. When the stardust is stable enough. It looks like this is goodbye. Good luck, Meta. Before you go, if you have any questions, I can try and answer them for you. No one's exactly sure what they are. Just that they're not bound by the physical laws of our world. They came from another dimension. Something we call rift space. When deviations get stressed, yeah, they release really start, and when that happens... Yeah. Good luck, Meta. Yeah. Alright, door. I am neighbor. Look at that. 20 years after Starfall, and the world is still infested with stardust. It looks like the monoliths here have been reactivated too. They might hold the key to all the stardust pollution. I wish it would quit walking every time you do this thing. The territory terminal forms the basis of your territory and defines the area in which you can build. You're free to construct your home as you see fit within this area. And you'll have access to functions such as crafting, planting, disassembly, and more. And just keep walking. Oh, you guys, here's a tutorial while your character just runs into the wall. I do the damn flashlight yet? Why is, like, the flashlight the only thing that I'm not allowed to use? I don't understand. I don't understand. It really, like, no matter how slow I move this analog. It does not let you do the damn flashlight. Whatever. That's something I'm going to look into. Maybe it's bugged or... Look at this little painting over here. Look at a little white ribbon. A bear and ducky. Look at this stuff. Let's see where I buddy. Ooh, I just dropped down. I had no idea there was a hole there. Bath tub. Should take a bath, I better stink. How do we get rid of that shit? Oh damn, is eating things. I didn't mean to do that. So that moves that stuff around. To do different things. How do I get rid of the hidden child? There we go. It's a little bit cleaner. 
Build and disassembly. Find a suitable location or press left bump burn. It plays a territory terminal. Oh, what up, dude? Good night. Yoink. Coming right for us, Ned. <laughs> Wait, whispers. Oh, such a nice launch. There's a drop into a swamp, and then you post your first whisper and join the season. The swamp of the I don't even know what these things mean. Alright. Deer milk, huh? Is that a turtle? It's a turtle! Oh, he's coming right for me! He's a pissed off ninja turtle, dude. Better call him down there, Tokar. Or no, Ray Razor? Yeah, I think Razor was a turtle. Tokar was the, uh, the dog wolf. I you know, whatever he was. Comment down below if you know what I'm talking about. Got corn. Mind if I do? Take some of that. And battle pass experience, either. Oh no, you don't, you little turd. Turk told Snappy turtle. Take some demo. Where would be a good spot? I just set up a little shit shack, probably. I'm pretty sure, or at least in the beta, you could set things up and then. Oh, what is this? Who is this? this? You're going to show me? Definitely not mine, because I'm not allowed to use it. There's a ton of deer over here, though. And there's fresh water. Maybe I just kind of pull one right over here. What is this thing? Is this someone's camp, too? That definitely needs the house that I was in a minute ago. Oh no, these are big ass and shit. Crunch. Right? Oh yeah, 100%. Ooh, was a bad guy. Might have to adjust the sensitivity a little bit, but. Seasonal reward. Look at that in a second. this thing is that a telephone Oof, it is telephone interact dreamline cordially invite you to share the strange and unusual things you have seen play the message your dreamline i think my sense of hearing is getting more acute According to science, 2,000 hertz to 20,000 hertz is the normal range of human hearing. But recently I've started to hear some, well, some sounds that no one else can hear. It's called tinnitus. The whoosh of blood flowing through a person's veins or the thud of a person's blinks. It's overwhelming. Alrighty, I have no idea what that's about. Whispers. This. Phone cut. Oh, riddle spot. 
Wait until the telephone booth lights up after 7 p.m. to get a quest. Interesting. Oh, I think this is like Dark Souls, like where people are like leaving things. Like little clues and stuff to interact with people. Oh, interesting. A telephone then there's telephone phones eight. Eh? There's a tractor. Oh, you know, we can just set something up right here. We could do this any other place, I guess. Explore a new area. Okay, so that and left will allow me to do this. Bring it off the ground a bit. Yeah. Nice work. I've managed to unlock some memetics from Mitsuko. If you access them through your cradle, you'll be able to craft and build what we need. Okay, copy that. Alright, my tip. Build that one. Build that one. Yeah, why not? Alright. Okay, then we gotta press the left bumper and Y to open the function wheel and then select cradle to enter the memetic screen. Open the memetic screen and unlock the disassembly bench under infrastructure. Open the memetic screen and unlock the furnace under infrastructure. And then build a disassembly bench. Okay. Open the function. Left bumper and Y. Now what? All slug cradle. I'm okay. Gotta do that. Mastering basic assembly techniques is essential for survival. Sure. Apply current site for allocation. No way, how many do I even have? Eleven, right? This thing costs what? One? Okay, yeah, that's fine. Just building. Alright, what the hell did it tell me to do again? We did that. Unlock the, dis the bench under infrastructure. Where's this damn bench? What's this? Yeah, that's over. Alright, and then... Alright, motor pickle! Toxic Swift? Okay, so there's people on the way over. What the hell? A damn scarecrow? Bro? Ooh, he's trying to get him. Oh, we're gonna stay over here. I want nothing to do with it. So, open the memetic screen and unlock the furnace under infrastructure. Now we can do the environments. Like that kind of structure. Have you under smoke team? Even with memetics, you still won't be able to craft anything out of thin air. We'd better gather some ore and locks. Yeah, the gravel, got more copper ore, and a group of gas. Yeah.
copper. Little bit more. We'll also need a furnace right. and a disassembly bench to process the materials we gather. A bumper and that to enter my build mode. Open the build menu. Share purchase furniture for and prints with your friends. They can build their own in their territory, but there's a max share limit. Okay. Purchase store under facility, click open the facilities tab. Yeah, copper ingots for that one, which is why I'm going to need this first. Now we're just going to put your. Use the furnace to refine raw materials into something more practical. We'll need it for Here we go with this nonsense. We just run forever and a day. Right. Yeah. Half a brand new chart. Also, I think these. This one. Yeah, big two. I get this. Oh, I just put okay, yeah, a couple of these. I have to make. I gotta make ten and ten. Very good, dirty. Yeah, buddy, got you. Banana and a tree. Don't get very many logs. More bananas for that man. Don't get any bananas. Next step after this. 
kill the disassembly event. Plus whatever that's gonna tell me. Oh, so you can take them out one at a time. You do if you need to. What's that? Tend your build mode and build the disassembly bench. for us to build upon. I've set up a journey interface to help track our progress. Open the for journey each task screen. complete, you'll unlock some supplies we can use. So far, what we've got won't do much against those deviants out there. We need proper weapons and armor. There are some abandoned Rosetta facilities nearby. Maybe we could find some useful supply crates there. I've marked All right, so I think this is a good stopping point right here to uh, do a little off-screen farming and get the base up to snuff and then uh, show you guys what it'll look like. But you're going to have to wait until next episode. Well, guys, thanks for stopping by the den. If you liked the video, consider leaving a like, a comment, or subscribe to join the wolf pack. Hit that notification bell so you'd be the first to see new content. It's a small thing for you. It means a lot to me and the rest of the pack. Have a good day. Thanks for watching. And as always, from free as a wolf, my friends, and I'll see you in the next adventure.